Hey planner babes, it's Amber from Amber Plans Her Day and I just want to come on and do my top 10 spreads of 2020. So make sure you stay tuned. I have searched through this big, chunky, beautiful planner to find my top 10 favorite spreads. Some of them are my favorite because of like meaning. Some of them are my favorite just because the decoration is just gorgeous, whatever. But I figured I would show you guys since I don't show a ton of after the pen. And then I will have a full flip through of this planner coming up in the next week. Um, but for today, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of dibble dabble and share with you the top 10 spreads. So, well, when I do like the whole flip through, you guys will see a bunch of those beginning pages and all the extras and fun stuff. So, here is spread number one. This was straight off in January, and I loved this spread. This spread was so stinking pretty. I used the Encourager sticker book with these florals. And I just feel like they matched so well and I loved it. I was really, really impressed with this, like so impressed. Like I didn't think I could ever come up with a combo that pe other people hadn't done or something. And when I found these matching so perfectly, I was really, really loving it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, next we have February. Detailed florals came out. Loving the different shapes that I used in here, but of course another floral spread. Um, I don't know how many of my spreads have florals, probably a lot of them, but I love, love, love detailed florals. And this sticker, uh, this spread is no different. Of course, I have all of my beautiful checklists. Checklists are always needed in Amber's planner, but I loved how like I did something kind of different this week too checklists, boxes, decoration. I think it turned out so, so pretty. Let's see. Next, purple. A hundred percent purple. I've never done a monochromatic spread before, which I didn't even know what monochromatic meant until um, probably this spread or a little bit before where it's like all one color. And this was really fun to kind of try something new and you guys again, the florals. The florals in the flower sticker book are just, they're perfect. And then this week I used some wrong wrong stickers as well. And I felt like it just tied it all together really fun. And I loved like doing different things with like different boxes and just trying new fun and different things and purple, 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 purple. <laughs> so that is spread number three. Here's number four. This was my first ever half and half spread. Basically, my husband's birthday was on the 7th and then um, Easter was on Sunday, the 12th. And I wanted to do a spread for both of them, but how do you just pick one? So I did a half and half spread. I've seen a lot of these half spreads like towards the new year, like if Christmas falls closer to um, the beginning of the week and then sometimes we'll do the end of the week like New Year's related but this like this was um, my husband's birthday I did all of his favorite foods and I did like a checkered board which I had never done before layout which was really fun food 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 and then of course Easter florals what else can you do I did the really fun Easter eggs and then of course my checklists. The checklists I felt like really matched all throughout because it was just like the same color. So I really liked this one too. And I really do feel like it flowed okay. Like it flowed okay. I liked that. Okay, next. Oh, this is when I tried something new in my planner. This was really fun too. This was really fun. So this is when the Happy Planner started coming out with some coloring pages and these were some really big monstera leaf coloring pages 
and it had like stripes. I don't know if you guys could like see the black. It was like monstera leaves on stripes and it was really, really pretty. So I took the time and I colored, which coloring is a phenomenal creative outlet and like a really, really great way to relax. So I took the coloring. This is also coloring, good vibes only. And I used my tape runner, my Tombow tape runner, put them in my planner, and then I mixed it with some of that like sunset feel for like a little bit of the tropical. And I loved this. This was like another one of my favorites. I love that. This one's so pretty. I love it. Okay, next. Let's see what we have next. Oh, look at this spread. Florals. Was my last spread the only one without florals? Because, well, it's the leaves. So leaves, I didn't. Leaves are kind of florals, right? Leaves are kind of florals. But this one has florals. So this was my collab spread with Vic from Vicker Stickers and Tosh from La Casa de Natasha and me. We decided to do like a really fun kind of collab and basically Tosh picked her favorite sticker book which was Rainbow Dreams which is where the um, diamond things are from. I picked my favorite sticker book which was Flowers obviously and then Vic picked her favorite sticker book which I think was Color Me Happy. This one's from Color Me Happy on some of these ones and you ha we had to do a spread of all of the sticker books using all three. So this is what I came up with and I stink and love it. This one, like, I think this one is really, really pretty, but it's also the meaning of the spread and I just love it so much. So this is definitely top 10 and it's gorgeous. Okay, onward we go to, I don't know what number one, sorry. <laughs> I don't know a number, but this is 4th of July. I also really like this one because I felt like I did something different with the 4th of July, like with these swatches. The swatches are from like the Watercolor Dreams sticker book, Watercolor Dreams, Watercolor Goals, one of those two. And then we took the kids down um, on a little bit of a vacation. So that was really, really fun. Loved like the gold foil fireworks and just like, Look at how cute. I love this. This is so fun. And this is just like different. Again, like it's just the differentness. I use a summer sticker book too, I think is what I used. Okay. And next, oh, the first spread I used um, Live Love Pasha sticker book for, I think. But the lemons and the blue florals looked so pretty together. And then with like the black and the hexagons, the black checklists, this was perfect. This was such a gorgeous spread. I love how this one turned out so, so, so pretty. I just love this. I love this so much. I used um, gold star quotes for some of these black ones. Jessica just killed it. She did so amazing with her sticker book. She had one come out yesterday on the 1st of January and it's just, this is beautiful. So love that one. Next, fall. Of course there's gonna be a fall spread because fall is my favorite season of the whole year. But this one's so pretty, but I love fall most of all. Autumn is here. This one has the new fall sticker book. And then I loved like pairing it with that blue because I feel like it just tied it together more. I don't know, it's really, really pretty. I love this one. Oh, look at these copper leaves. Oh, so pretty. This one's really pretty. Looking back at these spreads, I'm just like, wow. Look, this was like a babysit. This one says babysit. <laughs> We hadn't had a babysitter in so long. Who cares if it's on a Tuesday? It's so fun to look back. Next, oh, another fall spread. Of course. So this, florals. I did the maroon from the fall sticker book and I matched it with layered florals sticker book, which has these like this deep maroon color. And then some of those boxes are from the deep, uh, from the, layered floral sticker book as well and then I paired it with that orangey color and this one is just like 
gorgeous too. This spread turned out so, so pretty. I totally love this one. This is really pretty. And I love how like the dots like match the colors really well. Like there's a little bit of that maroon color, a little bit of the orange from the orangey leaves. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. Oh, and the last spread. Oh, Christmas florals, Christmas florals, Christmas florals. Gorgeous. Again, why am I saying gorgeous so much? I, whew, my mind. These are from that bundle, the Goals, Happy Goals sticker storage bundle. It came with that um, really, really pretty jewel toned sticker storage box. The jewel toned boxes, the floral sticker book, and then a Goals sticker book released during the Cyber Week. And I just knew I wanted to use it with the ornaments. I think the ornaments really tied it together to make it a little bit more like holiday cheer, Christmassy, um, seasonal aspect, but just like so dainty and just gorgeous. So I love this one too. And um, that was it. That's my last spread from my top 10. I don't think I could pick a top one favorite. So you, yeah, there's no way that I could pick a top one. But those are the top 10 favorite spreads of 2020 all after the pen so you guys can see a little bit more of how I use my planner after the pen too and you guys I'm so sorry I'm posting this kind of late in the evening on the second um I did not pre-film this week and my launch of my business has like blown up you guys absolutely blew me away thank you so much for your support I'll have it linked down below, amberplantsherday.com if you guys still want to shop on launch weekend. Such, such, such a blessing. And I hope that this video is kind of fun, a different video just to see some of my favorite spreads of the year. Because even though 2020 was cray cray, totes cray, it was like, it still had a lot of fun planning and a lot of fun things happened. So I hope that you guys will continue to follow along as I plan my life day to day and continue to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.